Hey there everyone. So, I posted something yesterday as kind of a um, test drive, if you will, as to something I've been wanting to post for a couple weeks now. Um, and it went quite well, pretty much. I got a lot of DMs on all platforms, from all walks of life, from all ages, from both genders. Everybody saying they really appreciated what I said. So it only reinforced what I've been wanting to work on, what I've been wanting to post for a couple weeks now. So disclaimer, I got notes. Um, but a disclaimer, one, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm not bitter or jaded today. I've actually been working on this for weeks and um, it's not a knee-jerk reaction. If you know me, you know I mean well. <laughs> and if I misspeak, give me the benefit of the doubt. Leave comments, post questions, and I'll respond accordingly. But with all that being said, I want to talk about how we are living in a reality and uh, we are becoming a, an impressionable society. Pre-social media and pre-24-7 media coverage, we used to have off time where we were forcibly removed from constant bombardment of anything. We had to go pick up a People magazine to be bombarded with perfect fashion and perfect faces and perfect bodies. We had to go pick up Sports Illustrated to see elite athletes. We had to go pick up Forbes to see the massive money makers. We had to go out of our way to see these things. Now we are constantly bombarded with these things. And I firmly believe it is causing a sociological and psychological photoshopping of our existence. And by that I mean, let's compare it to airbrushing and, and photoshopping, just images. Um, and I think I would, I would assume almost everyone can agree that that, that has the potential to distort and ruin um, people's perception of what is good and what is um, desired and what is achievable. And, and let's just use the extreme of some um, airbrushed supermodel and a, a little girl assuming she has to look like that or she's, or she's you know, not desirable or not pretty or not attractive. So I think all of us can agree that in that case, the body image is ruined. Body image is ruined by the constant perfect faces and bodies that that person is bombarded with. So in that case, which is purely a superficial aesthetic thing, surface only, why is it too much to think that our mental health is being ruined by the constant bombardment of photoshopped perfect lives and perfect existences? So I'm of the mind that it is hypocritical to only post perfect, uh, perfect existence like it's like it's only like we're showing only airbrushed pics it only adds to the psychological and, and sociological photoshopping of reality so if we post only airbrushed photos of, of beautiful models sooner or later we're going to assume that that's the norm or that's the ex expectation or that's anything less than that is bad so the same thing is to say is if we're sh posting or seeing a media of only photoshopped existences sooner or later we're going to think anything less than that is bad <clears throat> and as a result, that has the potential to give a false sense of what is possible because it results in people feeling bad for their realities because we are so bombarded with so much fake and selective truths that it is only a matter of time that these delusions have the potential to ruin us. For example, a couple extremes. Uh, the fitness industry. A lot of fitness people, uh, it is their job to stay in shape and to work out. And I'm not taking away from how hard they work and what they do because they do work a lot, but the, 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 phys the physique we are seeing, that is their job. It is much harder for a single mother of three going to school to become a fitness icon. It is harder for a single father, uh, you know, a, a person in the military deploying. It is hard, so in the fitness industry, that's that example. Famous people, whether they're celebrities uh, in movies or, or athletes, the things we don't see, yes, they are working their ass off. They are working extremely hard, um, some more than others, but the things we don't see that allow them to work that way are the things that would help us feel a little bit more empathy and, and connection to these people. We don't see that they're sponsored. We don't see that they're given free food. We don't see that their food is prepared for them and handed to them. We don't see all the assistants and all the drivers and all the people that make their life as, as feasible as it is to work as hard as they do. <clears throat> 
I've seen it. I've, I've been a bodyguard for it and I'm not discrediting it, but that stuff makes it that much easier to work your ass off all the time because those little things add up and all those little things that people do for them really um, helps them give off that that image of how hard they work which they do but they don't we don't see that they're the things they're not doing so as a result we are only seeing the elite minority over media the celebrities we see or the athletes we see represent a fraction of a percentage of our general population yet that fraction of a percentage is what we see almost 100 percent of the time so their constant bombardment sets up a potential fake sets up potential fake and unrealistic realities where people can then constantly feel in a sense almost maybe disappointed whether they know it or not and that's why we love when they show celebrities are just like us in people magazine or why we love seeing the bad hair days or the celebrities with no makeup or the fat celebrity or the celebrity going bald because we see them and we see them successful in spite of these normal and human characteristics that we can finally relate to so then as a result we can relate to them and then feel that what they are doing or what they've achieved is actually possible because we actually feel connected to them so it'd be like only showing <clears throat> a child that only first place trophies exist that there's only a first place they have no idea there's such thing as second third fourth and last and that child goes the rest of their life assuming that if you don't get first you're a failure so people need to know and see that failure and hardship and struggle and negativity exists and then then in spite of all that strive to become first place and, and you can't just ask the universe for first place you you're it's a fact somebody's gonna come in last no matter how much they ask the universe universe for it and they need to be aware of that 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 is an option or that's a potential Hiding that is just doing a disservice to everyone. And so the industries we are bombarded with, pretty much, you know, whether it's elite athletes, film and TV celebrities, or, or just, I guess you could call them um, influencers, we're bombarded with them, and they do require, to some level or another, require hard work, talent, and skill. But it's what we don't see that... that represents everyday people statistically they don't represent you and i and the every joe everyday joe plo cop nurse emt doctor whatever a lot of times it there could be an element of timing people who they know networking or just plain old flukes and we don't see that and that doesn't represent the majority population so since we don't see the success of everyday people we only know the successes of the super successful we don't see uh, cadets trying out and testing for the police department and passing uh, the police academy or, or the fire academy. We don't see people testing to become Green Berets and becoming Green Berets or, you know, or studying to become doctors. We only see that doesn't, that's not for some people entertaining. So it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't get the, the screen time, so to speak, as a lot of other things. So <laughs> with that being said, I am not remotely taking away from their hard work or what they've earned, but trying and working and striving in spite of obstacles and in spite of difficulty and in spite of minuscule odds, we deserve to see those bad days. Those We deserve to see the obstacles. We deserve to see the, the, the small odds so as to show the duality of life. Fighting in spite of all of those known obstacles, that is what is amazing, and that is what is inspiring, and that is what is empathetically motivating. So if you're struggling or, or questioning, just know that all we are seeing is the highlight reel of, 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 of others' lives, often with the negativity completely filtered out. And sometimes, yeah, the truth is negative, but I truly feel it shouldn't be hidden. Uh, Using your willpower, using your positivity and your motivational music or whatever it is to accept and overcome the negative obstacles, that's that's where the success comes in. And then, you know, sometimes being happy with you have doesn't mean you're bad. Don't let other people's standards change what your standards are. And And so it's just because, I guess, in conclusion... <laughs> I just really give a crap about all of this and 
And I get more feedback when I show the crappy days and the bad weeks or the, the obstacles or the things going wrong than I do when I throw up some generically motivational stuff. People are more encouraged and more motivated when it come, when those things come in spite of negative obstacles. So it, it's actually why I mute so many people, friends included and complete stranger super celebrities, because I am psychologically letting that impact me. And um, I won't use names, but there's one super celebrity that used to motivate me that no longer does. I don't relate to this individual. Um, this He has overcome a lot of obstacles, yes, but we only hear of them. I didn't see them. And it's not that I'm saying they're not real, but it's I'm saying I don't connect to this person anymore. All I see is this person traveling the world in his private planes, his private gyms, and getting to do everything he wants. It, I no longer relate to that person. And I'm not saying that person needs to get off social media, but at the same time, it's, it's not real. <laughs> so I don't really know the answer to that, but at the end of it, we just need to see the duality of life. And I want everyone out there to know you are not alone. We are not alone. Just keep all of this in mind and, and let their positivity, their positive existence motivate you and not discourage you in spite of any of your negative obstacles or negative things going on in your life. It's really the end of it. Wish you the best. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. Take care.